Hello guys, PJ here, and this is what is an idiot's guide to transmog in Destiny 2. And yeah, let's face it, we do need an idiot's guide because everything is overcomplicated. First off, let's go to Banshee 44 and get the armor synthesis quest. Yeah, you can't just transmog guys, you've got to do a quest to actually get this started. So click on the armor synthesis one there, you can track it. It will tell you to go to Braytec facility. So, yep, off you go to Braytec facility to go and get your bits and bobs needed to be able to do transmog in the first place. Yes, did say it was convoluted and it sure is. So let's go there and see what this is all about. Once arriving, you're going to have to deal with some of the enemies that are lying around. They're all low level, so not really a problem. And once you've done that, you can go to the side. There's a little icon showing you there on the right-hand side. And there's a computer terminal. You're going to go to the computer terminal and click on it to collect something. You're then going to go to the other side of the room, collect a bit of machinery, which is a loom, if you like, to be able to make the transmog effects. Now, it took a while for my icon to appear to actually collect this, so uh, persevere with it. It'll go through a few, you know, speech bits and bobs to get rid of, but if you just wait near it, the icon will appear and you can you can actually collect it. I've seen a few people walk away from it uh, and give up on it, but you've just got to bear with it. Sometimes it's okay, sometimes it's slow. It's just one of them weird things in Destiny, guys. See if your ghost can scan for it based on these parameters. I doubt we'll be able to recreate another one, and none of this will work without it. Yes, that's it. Okay, once you've got this thing, you're going back to the, well, new tower as it was. If you're an old Destiny player, you will remember the original tower, which I did actually prefer, but hey, we, we digress. Go back to Ada, and basically you're going to have a quick chat to Ada, and you're going to put this loom on the large piece of machinery yes. in the center of that circle. Ada does actually rub it on for ages here. I've skipped it for you to speed it up. You've got to listen to it. There's no way around it. Once you've listened to all that lot, you can free to go and put the loom on the armor synthesis device. And you are now getting there. You're all well on your way to be able to transmog your armor. Now, just to be clear, transmog is to make any piece of armor look like any other piece of armor. So in other words, in Destiny, if you're forever changing your armor pieces to get a, a better power level you you basically always look messy so if you want decent looking armor you can keep your, your decent armor all the way through and just stick with it which is really nice however you need this currency now this grants you five of each for each class titan warlock hunter and this currency is used to transmog each item that you do now you didn't think it was going to be straightforward and you just be able to do as many as you want Oh no, there's also a limit as well per season as to how many you can do. But it's not too difficult to do by Destiny sort of standards. So what we're going to do is follow it through, keep clicking on everything, reading the little uh, notes that she gives you there. And you're going to highlight an item in your inventory, which I will show you. Once you've collected your currency there, we've got plate, bolt and strap, depending on your class. Let's have a quick look at an inventory item and how we're going to transmog it so first of all we're going to d-pad down to your ornaments little square there flashing away appearance customization and if you go to anything random uh, let's say the arms the gauntlets that we've got going on down there and we can transmog them into another item by clicking on them and then sort of preview the item if you want first there you go so i'll preview the arms of optimacy there and then apply the item with the whatever corresponding key you are using depending on platform and that will apply it to you obviously you can change the shader as well while you're at Hello it again. so that's transmogged currency though you get the currency by completing the bounties that ada has vanguard ones are pretty quick anything that requires expiration does take quite a long time so you probably want to do stuff like the basic vanguard ones etc i really wouldn't go for anything that's going to take too long or if you want to spend real world money which not many people like doing i suppose but hey if you want to you can buy synth with templates from the store so you click on these and it's up to you what you buy basically you've got bundles uh five synth weeds templates there or a synth weeds template so it's 300 or a thousand and that's it guys that is transmog thanks for watching bye for now